for tuning in to LNN, the Lion News Network. I am Rich and my partner is Adrian. Let's take a look at today's announcements. Picture day, October 14 and 15. No school, October 23rd. Don't forget to bring extra masks. September 21, National Pecan Day. Um, moving on to lunch, our, entra our entrees is chicken fries with emoji potatoes and chorles, pizza crunchers with marinara sauce, and yogurt with cheese cubes and goldfish crackers. For our vegetables, there is whole kernel corn, fresh garden vegetable cups, and our fruit is sour cherry and, and lemon fruit ice, fresh apple slices, apple and leaf fruit juice, and for our milk is white 1% low-fat milk, and chocolate skin milk. Lastly, our character word is courage. Our quote for, for courage is, it takes a lot of courage to show your dreams to someone else. Oh, one more thing. Our birthdays are, sadly, there are no birthdays. Welcome to the Baylor and Sam weather. Today we have, it is Monday the 21st, mostly sunny skies with a high of 80 degrees. Stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As it depends on me, I will try to solve the problem. At Woodrow Cummins, we will always choose to think the best of others. Each day that I cannot build up, I will hush up, and I will stand from gossiping and tattling. At Woodrow Cummins, we will be the best that we can be, and we will be a school of strong character. Hello, Woodrow Cummins. This is a... This book report is about a new book called The One and Only Bomb by Catherine Applegate. This book is a sequel to the John Newberry award-winning book, The One and Only Ivan. The One and Only Ivan is about a gorilla who lives in a mall, and Bob is a stray dog who becomes friends with Ivan. This new book continues that book's adventures. In this book, you can find hurricanes, tornadoes, and and they find a new life outside of them all. Look for this book at your local library or bookstore.